bombshell. Trouble looms as one of the canon lawyers exposes a shocking secret about Atiko. Welcome to the news. If you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And if you have been there listening to this channel, thank you for your support. Now and always. Bombshell. Mr. Aloy Ejimako, special counsel to the leaders of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Mazim Nandekano, has argued that the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, would not have been a Nigerian citizen if it were not for the referendum. Mr. Kano is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP. And Jim made this claim in a tweet on the Twitter handle, contending that the United Nations recognizes an accept non-violent protest for the right to determine one's own destiny as legitimate. In addition, he said that the recent decision of the United Nations, in which it was requested that Nigeria release Kano without condition and compensate him for his wrongful, ar wrongful arrest, was an endorsement of a referendum as a valid method for resolving the struggle for autonomy. Kano's attorney, who maintained the referendum, was not new in Nigeria, questioned why the current leadership of the country is reluctant to conduct a referendum for Biafra, forgetting the Adamawa state only became a part of Nigeria through referendum. He said this in response to the fact that Kano's lawyer maintained that referendum was not new in the country. Will you solve our problem? Will you solve the lingering problem we have with the neighbors of the neighboring countries around us? If it will, well, I think the better the federal government start looking into this to stop and cope all these incessant attacks we get from neighboring countries. And if what it was referendum that gave a ticket, that make him the citizen of this country, well, maybe we should look at that referendum again and see those who are in need and those that want to be part of this country and those that need to leave so that we can leave all this crisis in the board. So you guys bring Biafra issue so that Peter will be give him that mandate will completely turn against Nigeria. Nigerian people now they sink the country small, small. One day will be one day. Everyone will know it's our fate. Now the cardinal will be released very soon. If Atiku becomes the president of Nigeria, his cousin will attract the sick economy of Nigeria to build Cameroon. Railway and money will be sent to maintain Cameroon while Nigerians language and scarcity. The same thing with every other person that is not in Nigeria. The struggle is already tensed, and whether they want it or not, the right thing must be done. God is at work, and the United Nations has spoken. Let the power that be comply on the instruction now to avoid shame and humiliation. Is now no part of Nigeria? How come we are, we are practicing in dead? Read and understand before commenting. There was no Adamawa before now. Nigeria was basically north and south. It was after the war that a lot of other states were created after agitation for state creation. A larger part of the current state of Adamawa fell into the northwestern part of Cameroon and fought in a town called Gare. You will hear voices in the midnight from the other side. I was there on a geological survey and I witnesses. So I know what I'm saying. Mm. No longer we want to abort stranger in this country. Why is it now that United Nations is talking? Why have they not spoken since? Whatever you see the Biafra people insisting on, thoroughly investigate proper, and you will definitely discover that before they make any attempt on any exposure of anything, they have already gathered evidence or proofs before embarking on their publication or inquiry. If Adamawa is not part of Nigeria, we agree to we are not a Nigerian. God bless Ejimako. Well, we should be aware that South-South and Southeast have a fertile land for crude oil. 
But northern part have so much land now. Tell me how they will let you go. You that is feeding them. But if they were to have this oil, God knows they will have pursued us since long ago. To, to weed them, we are captives. And we are feeding them by force. But I know that God's way shall be done one day. Time, till this time, some people don't know that the problem of Biafra are the problems of Nigeria. Nigerians have come a long way. We cannot divide this country now. Don't forget that Ojukun warned you about that Biafra issue, but you did not listen. Or is it that you don't have respect for him anymore? Mm. Well, we are ready to do what will bring peace to this country. You are right, my brother. We should focus on one plan and one voice. This Biafra issue will make Northerners not to vote for us. Please, let's focus on OB. This is not right. We are agitating for OB and at the same time asking for Biafra. How can this work for us? Mm. This is true saying, my beloved brother. Peter OB can never be president. Know this. That was when God involved in the matter. All protocol will be abated. What is wrong if an Igbo man becomes the next president of Nigeria? If Bari can be the president of Nigeria, knowing very well that he's not from Nigeria, yet they gave him that position, why will you deny a full son of the soil from being the president? Are you people not thinking at all? There are mentally derailed, that is why the people are talking the way they are talking. We all want that you just mention here. You have problem with that. Instead of you guys to face your front and be watching, I'm talking about that too. This is distraction. Oga, if southern leaders unite and get the southerners to go for a referendum, we will win and have lasting peace without the people troubling this nation. After we shall go our separate way as Middle Bird Republic, Urugu Republic, Niger Delta Republic, and Biafra Republic. We can agree to unite at the center with whatever name we choose. <clears throat> the plan, well, this statement is very deep. When are we going to think of this nation instead of thinking of our regional biases? Look at what is happening. The enemies of progress in this country have carrying people voters card, Igbos and Yoruba name on this voters card. They came to throw them away on the main road at Oka. What a wicked leaders we have in this country. They don't want people to go to Chaobi when Almighty God will start, will let it nobody, even Satan can't stop, will be from becoming the president of this country. Old cargo, even to your old cargo, even will not save these people. Look at what is happening. The enemies of progress of this country don't want the progress of this nation. This is the journalist who talk about this. It's a mediocre journalism. What are the Igbos really agitating for? Is he to be for president? Freedom for Mazenam the Kano, Biafra nation or referendum? Please, Igbos should be advised to speak with one brother and stop gambling with their destiny. Are they really gambling with their destiny? Well, what is your own opinion? The referendum, the federal government, you should go into a referendum and anybody that wants to leave should be allowed to go peacefully. Are you in support of this? If you have any, any contrary comments, kindly make it below. Thank you and be blessed.